Welcome back. I started thinking, what do people want to see? What kind of video do I want to do next, aside from the ones I got going? So I decided, Nano 6 Pig Blockhead. Let's get started. Ah oh, yes, the 906. They put them on everything, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, 383s, 440s, everything. And then they switched to 452s, 346s, some other 902 heads out there. But anyhow, the 906 was always known as the go-to badass for the uh, open chamber. Out of all the heads, really, the 906 was always the best. Um, I have a set of 915s, and it's basically a closed chamber version of this. So you'll just deal with the chamber and the way, in other words. Anyhow, back in the day, I fiddled with these a lot, and back in the day. <laughs> yeah, not that far back, right? For a lot of you watching. <laughs> I wasn't even around when you were doing this. Anyhow, um, it's comical. This is a set I got from a good friend. It sat, they sat in storage, you know. They, uh, like a lot of us, we keep things because there's always that next project. But back in the day when I used to mess with these, I would get around uh, 280 CFM by 550-ish lift with that stock valve. Um, I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> I think it's, I still think it's pretty good actually for a little 208 valve. 208 and uh, was that 174? In the exhaust 174 anyhow they're pretty sturdy head they're not like uh, specifically known for cracking or anything I mean all heads can crack I guess but these aren't known for cracking or anything like that they don't come with hardened seats of course I think they stopped using these heads somewhere around 70 or 69 somewhere like that I don't know I know they were switching to the other heads because they started coming out with 400 somewhere around there in the early 70s 72 or something 71 anyhow babble away forever i guess about it but uh anyhow let's get started by cleaning this head up first with a wire wheel And then we'll start uh, taking the valves out and getting a closer look. So we're going to wire wheel this off. Okay, so wire wheeled off decently you know we got something clean to look at we have to see where it's at chambers have an interesting shape that's how they all are though pull the valve out um kind of want to say that this thing had a valve job and probably would have been just fine had it not got water on it because they got down the guides this one was stuck in there a little bit you know give it the old dead blow and now that's not a deceased prostitute that's that hammer anyhow uh, yeah so it probably would have been a usable head if it didn't sit and go to shit as they say let it sit too long it just goes to shit and there's all the water that got in this this was um, a touched head probably touched as in it's been they fiddled with it Valve job or something. That video is supposed to be about porting, and I was thinking maybe I should have done an inspection video to that. But how about all in one? So yeah, I think these have had a valve job before, but that's me. Okay, so let's get to the basic. It's an ugly pour with the rest. I don't really want let's let's showcase this one for now. Right. 
so let's get to it. 906 head. It's got what small block guys would kill for for a short turn, so it seems. Well, maybe not kill for, but it's pretty damn nice. There's a lot less to get out of the way. Rolls up. It rolls up, peaks nice, and comes down towards the floor. Um, So the trick with these, I used to do bull work on them and just work everything smooth to that turn and thought to myself, it's a big block, all the small block work I did, damn, this thing's going to flow so big. And it did like 250 something CFM or maybe, maybe 260, but I think it was like 256 or 57. And I was like, what the heck? So... Thought, wow, man, hmm, I don't have to think about these big block heads. Well, I didn't know what I was doing back then, of course. It's moving from small block to big block, trying to do a one-size-fits-all approach. Can't do that. Every head's different. You know, if this was closed and they talk about, like, the Vortec, where it's got this area here all kicked out. Oh, that's a no-grind area. Well, yeah, because look how far it would be away. It pretty much resembles a Vortec head in that distance. Uh, any, anyways... So I'll tell you a little secret. As I was over at so and so's place one time, and I was looking at all these parts for sale and these stacks of heads on the rack that were in plastic, nice and clean, you know, machinist die, shiny, yada yada, no valves in them. I said, "Wow, hey, what's up with these heads?" And he told me they were done, and he was thinking about selling them, and so on and so forth. I don't know if you like stories or not. Some of you are like, fuck, get to the point. Point was, is that they were done by somebody pretty well known from way back when, um, who's no longer with us. And I got to see what that shape looked like. And I went, I would have never thought it had to go back that far. <laughs> Anyhow, so this video, this short turd, is going to go way... <laughs> It's going to go way the hell back there. <laughs> see if we, it's kind of comical, really, I think. But let's see if we spin this around with our one hand here and get to the goods. Which one was it? Uh, that one? Is that the right one? Okay. But basically, the short turn is going to come all the way back to like here, <laughs> which is. Uh, you know, halfway in, middle of the port almost. Yeah, we'll get to that. First thing we'll do is we'll clean it up and just flow it the way it is. We'll just follow the same line I've been approaching it with. So, here we go. Oh, oh, wait, you know, before I stop, okay. I, I liken this head to a slant six head. It doesn't have a deep bowl. Uh, it's not a giant, you know, not a really tall roof or port. Honestly, I mean, it looks small blockish. Really does. Not to anyone else. Sure is shaped pretty decent though. That straight shot's nice. Like I said, small block guys would love that. But I'll tell you. Um, Funny thing about this, the 202 heads and the, you know, they're considered the performance head, and then your 906 standard 208 valve 174 exhaust uh, big block head is, the last set I flowed that I got the 280 from, when I put it on the bench, it flowed 228 CFM, and when I put a set of J heads I have over 10 feet away that are bone stock, to my knowledge, or they're just cherry cores of some sort, but stock 202 J head from 70, 1970. Um, it flows about 228 as well. The only difference is the port volume. So, anyways, let's get going on cleaning this up. Point is velocity. They're passenger car engines, and I think that Chrysler was thinking to keep it small and just keep, you know, the horsepower there. In other words, the, the flow number. All right. 
So I took a little wire wheel real quick, you know. Let me give it a fair shot. Clean out the uh, throne area. <clears throat> Okay. Something I just wanted to point out real quick was that uh, if you look at this head and the chamber comes out, it encroaches a lot more on this one and this one as opposed to this. this one here does not encroach as much as that one does. These are somewhere around 80 something <laughs> cc chambers, I think. And the intake port is around 186 or something like that. I guess I could cc it, but. Let's put a valve in it. Let's see what it does. Like I was saying, <clears throat> this head didn't sit. It's really tight in it. It's not that bad. I mean, I'll be honest with you right now, honestly. You go buy an aluminum Speedmaster and it's twice this. That valve is <laughs> jogging around all over the place in the seat. This valve isn't too bad. So, like I said, it's a. been a runner. Anyways, let's put it on the bench and see what it does. Let's flow test. <clears throat> 